Well, howdy everybody out there in YouTube land. This is the Amateur Artist Mardi channel once again from Man Land. And I decided to showcase a little bit more of the cast iron. But more importantly, <laughs> when you got that piece of cast iron and you think it's black, do you really know that it's truly black? I mean, it's got that good solid coat of seeding on there that it's just absolutely black, black, black no matter what. Well, I've discovered that I would say 99.9% .9 of the videos out there that's showing cast iron, uh, they may be outside, say they want a campfire or something like that, but a lot of times it's inside somebody's home and they're showing off their cast iron. And I've made a discovery here for, oh, been several, several months ago, that uh, if you take your cast iron, cast iron out into the actual harsh sunlight, you where you thought you had a piece of black cast iron it's not exactly black black that's where you see the imperfections of the seasoning process that you got going on now this setup here I've got the light this way directly in front of me uh, toward my shoulder and you see the the casting of the shadows here and this is actually not a good setup to show you this cast iron I'll show it to you in just a second but let me start out I've got Made in China and Taiwan cast iron. These three pieces right here. But I had to show you my lodge cast iron. This is the, my, my, my band-aid skillet here. I call it the band-aid because of the sand shift and the mold there. And you're going to probably see some lint and such on there. Because I'm using a cotton terry cloth towel that is not lint free. And that's why I'm applying my, my cooking oil to it. And I'm actually trying to season these things out here. Because this needs to be seasoned. Uh, and this one here need to be seasoned. This is the Ozark Trails. It don't need to be seasoned. Uh, but this one, no, I said no, no. This is this is the one for Sean Outdoors or Outdoors for Sean. And brother, I have shot many a video. I probably shot about seven or eight videos utilizing the skillet, and I haven't posted a single one of them yet. And that's bad, bad for me. But I ended up having to put another coat of seasoning on there because we have absolutely torture tested this thing inside the house now on the campfire and it is it has really held up very very well so uh so i brought it out here while i was doing some seasoning out here my little single burner we're using the, the little small propane bottles yeah now i know what y'all finna say and let me say this right now you could put this inside your oven and season the crap out of good even heat but it smokes your house up now let me say this again i don't actually have a gas grill to do this on and I do have an oven to do this on, a gas range oven, but I cannot do it inside the house. I am not allowed to do it anymore. Do you understand the words that are coming out of Manland's mouth? So that is not an option for me. Understand that. But yes, it is probably one of the best techniques if your wife or possibly even your husband will allow you to season your cast iron inside the house. Uh-uh. Not so with me. I'm not allowed. Can't do it. I will not only be kicked out of my house, I will be totally and permanently convicted to never come back. That, that's the reason why I'm showing you this technique. <laughs> you got to understand, man. It's not about how to do it right. It's about how to do it right and still be able to get away with it. Hmm. Anyway, this is Sean Outdoors, or Outdoors with Sean, I should say. Uh, this right here is a blue rhino skillet. It is made in uh, China. This is actually made in China. And, uh, man, I, I, I've done videos on this thing before, but I haven't posted yet. And it, uh, <laughs> it has a very prominent sand shift mo deal here. And if, you, if I shine it just right, maybe you can see it. Now, I'm actually blind the camera with a shine on it right now. Uh, it's a very uneven surface here as far as it being totally flat. That's not the case. This thing's got bumps and valleys all through it. And it's only because it came out of the mold that way. There's a shot of the back there. Maybe you can see it. Um, very unique handle design. But uh, Wee Wee loves this skillet. Like I say we have, we have torture tested this thing beyond belief. It... Uh, <laughs> It has seen some use. Uh, 
it has seen so much use that the original season has come off every time I try to reseason. Um, but anyway, I cooked me some eggs in. I was going to do some scrambled eggs in it this morning, and them eggs stuck fast. And I was like, mmm, yeah. It's time to give the <laughs> it's time to give the blue rhino another treatment of good seasonings. Now, in comparison, here's the Ozark Trails, and this is one of the newer versions of the Ozark Trails. And this, of course, it's got the Ozark Trail logo on the back. Now, this looks perfectly black, especially inside the house. But even out here, you can see there's a little bit of a brownish discolor deal here. And you're going to see some lint. I didn't clean this up. I just grabbed it off the wall. Usually when I cook it, I'll put it on the stove top, heat it up, remove the moisture, and I'll take some cooking oil and rub it down real thin coat, let it cool down, stick it back on the wall, and it's been sitting there probably, I don't know, maybe a week or two. Uh, this is also made in China. What I'm saying here is, folks, and I know you're going to say this again, you need to buy American. Well, I've got several large American cast iron skillets, but I've got a lot of the stuff that's made in China and Taiwan, too. And they work dead blasted well. I'm sorry, they do. You can fuss and cuss and stomp your feet all you want to. And you can complain about potential lead and how it's going to be a bad health risk for me. I don't care, I've been using it. It, it works. Now, here, ah, here's a nice little deep fry pot, as I call it. This is not the original handle. There's a wooden handle about that long that went on the back of it. I found the handle, but I didn't find the actual all-thread bolt that it's supposed to go through. And this thing was raw metal this morning when I got started. And this is the blackened seasoning process that I've got so far on it thus far. Can't really see in there. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, uh, probably not. But anyway, the lid looks a lot better than the pot itself. It's a number seven, and this is made in Taiwan. And my intentions on this is to make me a dead gun good cast iron deep fryer. Cooking some fish and some chickens and all that good stuff there. But you can't really see it under the light and conditions I have here. Let me take you to a real setup here and hold it by hand so you can see the imperfections of the colorization of your actual seasoning treatment. Come on. Now here is my Taiwanian cast iron, and I can't really see it that well on the viewfinder, but if you look, and I'm trying to hold the lid, let me set the lid down. Try and do this true justice in the American way. You can see the black up here at the top, but then you see brown, and you see the a light color brown that's in the very bottom. If you take it out to harsh light, you can see where the cast iron has not quite done its full job of seasonings all the way around but if I take this inside the house or either here in the shadow it looked perfectly black now we're out of the sun see how that looks almost perfectly black not the outside but the inside yeah there you go now let me show you another piece of cast iron. You know, let me show you the lid right quick. Show you the lid, the lid, lid. Now, you can kind of see a little brownish right there on that bubble. But for the most part, it looks black. If I turn on this side, that looks good and black. Well, let's take this back out here to that harsh light. And if I get the glare off of it, now maybe you can see the discoloration right there in the center. It's like a caramel brown instead of black like it is on the edges. And you can see that bubble real good now, I think. Well, it's hard for me to see in the viewfinder. I hope this turns out right. Let me show you one more piece of cast iron that to me I always thought was black. Sorry about the noise on the carport. They got the daggone washing machine and dryer going. There's my lodge number three. And it's not totally black on the bottom of the outside, but the inside looks like it's almost black, but you can still see like it's almost like a see-through. Take it over here to the shadows. See how black it looks now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Misleading. It looks perfectly black. Mm 
but it ain't. It's kind of a see-through deal, like the black carbonization on there is a little bit translucent. Now, here's another view. Here's the blue rhino. I'll show you the blue rhino here in the shadows. There's the blue rhino. That's outdoor with Sean. And right around the edges is where you see the carbon buildup is not very good. There's that caramel brown. See mostly black in there. Probably a lot of lint too. There's the backside. And then you can see the, the fire imprint and the burner that I've been sitting on. Yeah. Now, my Ozark Trails. I'll show it. I didn't season this today, period, at all. It's got the dust and stuff on it. There's the backside. You can see all kind of oil buildup and residue because I'm not so concerned about the outside when I'm cooking. What about that inside? You can see a little bit right in there. So it's starting to peel away. Yeah, but in the house, you never would have known that. Again, here in the shadow, or under studio lights, it looks a heck of a lot blacker, a heck of a lot more perfect, except the bottom side. There you go. Well, that's it, folks. I was going to try to make it a short video, but you know me, I'm long-winded. It's just something I hadn't seen there on YouTube yet. Take your cast iron when you think it's totally black and looks good. Take it out into natural sunlight and take a gander at it. You might actually be surprised. And if it happens to come out black or looks black in natural sunlight, in my opinion, you've got a pretty daggum, well good seasoned piece of cast iron. Mm-hmm. But with me, I never know. I abuse mine so daggum much, it's, it's redundant. <laughs> I abuse cast iron so much. Surprise! they don't call the cast iron popo on me. Hmm. Take my cast iron away. Give it a better home. You know, for mistreating it. Hmm. <sighs> Until next time, this is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler once again from Man Land. Wishing you and y'all a very happy YouTube experience out there. And please remember this. If you want to continue to lie to yourself about how good your cast iron looks keep it in the house don't take it out into natural sunlight you might actually be a bit disappointed